America was a land that was ripe for the picking, and people dreamt of all the possibilities with it. Land that was not claimed yet was just waiting for someone to take advantage of it and put it to use. Many saw this and traveled in hopes for adventure, riches, freedom, and a new home. For some, these dreams came true, but for many, it is a different story. However, these dreams may have been an illusion, and were sold to those seen as inferior in order to exploit them. The people who may argue against this idea of opportunity in America are the natives, African Americans, the poor, and women. The rich white men were the ones who prospered in this land of opportunity by selling a dream to those who were desperate or by taking advantage of those who had no say. The individuals who immigrated with the vision of buying land and getting rich found it harder than expected. America was a land for adventure, riches, freedom, and a new home, but the opportunity was lopsided. Odds went to the rich white men. They benefited the most from the image of America because individuals who were not rich enough to buy land had to work for them. Many couldn't even pay to travel to America, and rich whites helped, but in exchange for indentured servitude. They did not have to work much. Their money allowed them to have work done by other individuals and get far more than what they spent. The Native American, African American, women, and the poor did not have much success, but there was some possibility for them to prosper. However, opportunity was not the only difference. The daily lives of the black, women, and Native individuals was far different to that of a rich white male. The term slave is defined as a person, and in more specifics, African Americans held in servitude as a possession of another person mostly belonging to wealthy white people starting in the 17th century. It was a quote-unquote civil relationship in which white and wealthy people had power over the life and liberty of these slaves. The first African Americans that arrived in colonial America was in 1619 in Jamestown, Virginia. African Americans were considered dangerous if they were young, poor, unmarried, and armed, hence why the Virginia laws created in the late 1600s were mostly against African Americans and their rights, which they had none. They were considered inheritable and valuable property. Punishments were based on race. If they were to commit a crime, slaves would immediately be sentenced to death, while someone of the opposite race would only receive 31 lashes or sentenced to prison for seven years. Slavery was a legal institution. While African Americans were taken from their homes, the natives had their homes taken away from them. Native Americans were the ones who initially had the rights to the land of which colonial America was built on. The Indonega and the Iroquois did their best to fight for land that was being dominated by the whites in the 1700s. Even with all their efforts to salvage the land that was taken away from them, they ultimately lost the war of the American Revolution. Their cultural differences made it hard for the natives to adapt and surrender to life, liberty, and property. Native American slavery was very much coincided amongst African American slavery in Spanish, Mexican, and United States archives. In 1542, Spain made Indian slavery illegal, making it harder to prove with textual evidence, but was very much alive up until the late 19th century. Indian women held higher value in slave trade due to reproductive and domestic capabilities. Sexual exploitation of women was just as alive in the 16th century as it is today. Women faced many struggles to survive in a world where men had most of the power. They had to be married by the age of 20, 
After the American Revolution, women had up to nine children at most. As wives and mothers, their attention was fully focused to their husbands and children's need. They weren't allowed to do much without a male figure. If a woman was not married, the alternative would be to be sent to a labor camp. This was based out of fear of women being disobedient. In the 17th century, women were accused of witchcraft if they were poor, unmarried, and without a male figure. Women were expected to be virgins going into marriage. If they weren't, they would have to deal with harsh judgment. Although in England at the same time, one third of women went into their marriage already pregnant. They faced sexual violence and proving that they were raped was a difficult thing to do. One, to, one had to have proof of force or show it was against the will of the woman. Whether it be women, natives, African Americans, or the poor, none of them really had an opportunity. The rich white men were the ones to prosper in the land of opportunity.